I mean, what a winter and now we're getting this early spring fill and we could actually use the rain because we missed out on so much snow. We're abnormally dry across Metro Detroit and we were just talking about this, the uh, the story about the farmers there as well. So everybody's on the lookout for the rain. It does arrive and not only does it move in, it lingers for the rest of today and it should get out of here by tonight, but then we'll all have more rain in the forecast, which we'll talk about storms and some heavy rain, but possibility the heaviest rain is going to be this afternoon and evening and then we'll shift gears to colder air that's going to take over. Satellite and radar right now showing that the clouds are still around, but we're not going to see a ton of rain for this morning, but it will be scattered and you'll find that it's moving in from the southwest. So let's focus on that zone right now for Lindaway County. The worst of this is still well south of the state line, and I'm expecting that to remain to be the case because the warm front responsible for destabilizing the atmosphere, it's kind of parked here. And as long as it stays parked, we should be okay as far as a severe weather risk. But even still, I'm expecting these uh, storms to still linger around. So for the morning, primarily later this morning, rain will turn more widespread with numbers in the mid to upper 40s. That's above average, but still cool. So of course the kids are going to need the jacket, not going to warm up all that much later on today. A few of us maybe could touch 60 like Adrian, for instance, but otherwise most of us would be in the 50s. It's a washout scenario for the afternoon around lunchtime, so make sure you got the rain gear. The rain gets out of here by tonight. Temperatures cool down into the 30s and the 40s. And then looking ahead into Friday, much of the rain should be gone, but maybe a leftover or two will still stick around. But temperatures will be trending cooler. So 55 today, 51 on Friday. We might spike up to 57 on Saturday, but we'll turn this around once again on Sunday down to 45. And we'll also have cooler temperatures to start next week at just 38.